everyone welcome to my channel i am timmy banjo and if it's your first time here please remember to subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button and if it's not your first time here please just give this video a thumbs up today i'm going to be showing you guys what i eat in a day this is like a realistic of the realistics of what i eat in a day so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching this video and remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't i know i am mentioning it again so please do hit the subscribe button stay tuned and if this video i mean it's a full-blown keto video if it sounds like something you're interested in Make sure you keep on watching, okay? Alright, so before we start, I would like for you guys to follow my Instagram handle or my Instagram account. It is Timmy Banjo alone and because i always post my videos or i post my meals every time i have them on my stories and there's like two permanent tabs on my stories for you guys or two permanent highlights for you guys to check out my food my keto meals that i always have so the ones that don't make it here are always always on my stories so make sure you follow my instagram which is timmy banjo i left that on the screen i'm also going to leave it again so make sure you follow my instagram and check out my meals so you can have some inspiration so let's jump right into the main the main video okay so i'm having this butter now this is president butter i'm melting this and you know breaking two eggs into my pan and i'm having sunny side up my cousin hooked me up on this sunny side up like she just showed me i tasted her egg one day and it was so nice and since then i've been having sunny side up the best way to enjoy this sunny side up is to have it with butter like enough butter so i like to pour in like bathe my egg in butter as you can see around the pot there's so much oil situation going around there so i'm going to you know spice this up a little with just salt and pepper like you don't need to do too much because it tastes so good i'm also going to put a little bit of spring onions just to add some flavor to my egg and guys if you know me like if you're not new on this channel you should know by now that my flipping is terrible my flipping is terrible so please this is a no judging zone please do not judge me as i do not know how to flip people have told me to go and get the spoon for flipping and i was like see if i get the spoon for flipping the fork for flipping the knife for flipping i don't think i'll still know how to flip i know my flipping is bad so please bear with me and at this point you know my egg looks <laughs> like an apology but it still tastes nice and remember to leave the sides crunchy because that's just it that's the deal with the egg so i'm having this with um, bulletproof coffee it's going to be creamy of course i have a dedicated video for this bulletproof coffee which is even iced so i will leave that in the card for you to check out like that's a dedicated um, bulletproof coffee on its own this i'm having with butter and i also use the precedent butter inside this um, coffee with one teaspoon and also one teaspoon of butter one teaspoon of gold blend coffee one teaspoon of butter now i'm going to use coconut milk to blend everything up together i'm just going to pour a generous amount of coconut milk into my blender I'm going to add half of that sweetener I showed you guys and then pour all my coffee into the blender and just blend this up. You can have this either warm or either iced. I like doing the iced one like almost every day. Ever since I tried the iced one, it was so good, so nice and I always have the iced one in the morning. I also like to have the warm one sometimes, just you know, <laughs> it depends on my mood. So this is my breakfast. This is so much feeling like the egg the oil the butter inside it just absorbs your fat intake this is like the right amount of fat you should have two eggs which is so filling and with um bulletproof coffee which is creamy as well with coconut milk and butter so this is my lunch now i'm having um should i call it pasta noodles <laughs> whatever it is for lunch and what is a classic chinese noodles without spring onions i mean i need to have onion oil so i am frying the bottom part of spring onions i'm also going to put a little bit of that paste which is made up of 
garlic ginger and parsley which i blended together earlier on i'm going to put that in the pot and just you know create a little a, a very very i don't know spicy oil base and then add my chicken to the pot i'm going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper inside the um frying chicken right now just so it has its own independent flavor Right now my chicken is about done i'm going to change the pan and this is the pasta i'm having it is zero carbs gluten free sugar free fat free it has nine calories per 100 grams and the back of it here shows that it is also zero net carbs and i will just quickly open this up for you guys to see what it looks like it is kind of soaked in water so i have to drain the water before i can go ahead to start cooking i don't even know whether to call this pasta water or what but i just drained it from the from the sachet so i'm going to go ahead and start pouring in my vegetables in another clean pan i'll pour in my spring onions my bell peppers my onions and just saute this on the hot oil i'm also going to put the rest of the paste in these um, vegetables look i killed this pasta with so much spice i was so proud of myself because i enjoyed it i loved it when i was showing you guys this pasta on my story on instagram you guys were like oh, it's not sweet oh, it doesn't taste nice guy i loved how it tasted it, it was not different from rice sticks in my mouth honestly the only thing that i felt was that it had a rubbery taste like the rubbery taste was more than that of rice sticks that is vermicelli noodles that is it that was all and i enjoyed and loved this pasta so much i'm definitely going to have this again so i went ahead to pour this into a dry pan just to kind of you know take out the water that might remain inside it because you don't want to be frying this with your vegetables that is already perfect and then it is bringing out water so i started this into in the pan for some time and then i poured in my vegetables my chicken and everything i just began mixing it i also went ahead to add some soy sauce just so it brings out it enhances the flavor i'm so proud of myself the way i killed this with so much spice like it was so delicious I'm just going to keep mixing this and keep you know trying to combine the vegetables chicken and pasta together till everything is done and here is my pasta oh man this was so delicious i'm not lying to you guys this was so delicious and i served it with um chicken drumstick and it was so filling i divided this into two because it was so much and per 100 gram was nine calories so i tried to you know have it under four 4.5 calorie if i'm correct so i divided it to two and i just served it up with a little bit of salad so for dinner i'm having green tea you know i'm trying to minus some calories from everything i had today i'm having this with a slice of lemon and with the apple cider vinegar i'm having just one cover of this is enough i'm going to leave a card on how to measure your tea and all of that good stuff i mean so many recipes of tea in the card so please make sure you check it out to know how to use apple cider vinegar for weight loss and so on and so forth so i'm having this with these cookies and it is sugar free it is totally fine for keto especially when you're in ketosis not when you're just starting so at the back here it contains carbs but it's with a little bit of calculation here and there you should be fine that means you should have just one in a day 
or even one in, in like three days but uh, it has vanilla and chocolate flavor and i like to have the two on this particular day i had the two because who is watching who is counting <laughs> my dear eat enjoy problem no they finish so i had two of these biscuits with my amazing tea you know i'm here to minus the calories that is pretty pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i would love to see you in my next one bye guys